Welcome back to Life Love Shopping. I'm Maurice Pascal along with Andrea Jackson. And even though Valentine's Day is such a happy time for many, we can't forget that we all know what heartbreak feels like. It's unavoidable, but when it happens, it doesn't mean the end. It could actually mean the beginning of something really special. Sometimes it takes a breakup is a new book coming from author Jackie Pugh explaining how heartbreak can open you up to new ideas about your heart's true purpose. Jackie, welcome to Life Love Shopping. Good to see you. Hi, thank you so much for having me. So nice to meet you. First of all, you are a master practitioner of neuro-linguistic programming. What does this mean and how do you help people? Basically, I help people rewire their brains. So if we could sum it up, I help them rewire their brains. So they go from patterns of thought that are ineffective for their life goals into patterns that are effective for their life goals. All right, and part of that pattern is you want to help people get their power back. That's what you talk about. So do you have to dive into your pain to do that? Talk, tell us about how to get your power back. <laughs> the only way out is through. I know we hear this all the time, but the only way out Oy. is through. However, um, I, I, I'm all about humor and having fun. It's really, really deep work. Uh, but my clients, we go there, but we don't live there. Where a lot of times in therapy, sometimes you can kind of live there and relive the things that don't feel really good. We visit it and we deal with it and then we heal it and we move on. And we have a lot of fun while we do it as well. Jackie, your way of thinking here is being single can be a blessing. Why, why is that your perspective? Yeah, well, right now the divorce rate is almost 50%. Yeah. And, and what I have noticed uh, in my line of work both with people who are married and not married or never been married is most people do not take the time. They do not take the time to really figure out who they are, why they're operating the way that they do and who actually would compliment their life in a way that feels really, really good for them, right? Their society says you have to be married by a certain age and you have to have a certain job and the house and the white picket fence and the kids. And that's all fine and dandy, but that puts a lot of pressure on people to make decisions that are not fully aligned with them. So single time's your golden time to figure that stuff out so that you can find someone that fills you up. I love that. Fills you up. That's wonderful. I know you've <laughs> had many clients who used to dread being single but are now fulfilled by their single lives. How did your BURN program play a part in that? What exactly is your BURN program? Yeah, burn is using your old flame to light your new fire, Ooh, and it's four months long. Okay, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Tell us more. I love um, that. Yeah, it's got to be a little spicy, you know. We gotta have some spice going on here. So, uh, we 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 heal, deal, and move on from the past. We gotta acknowledge things that happened. A lot of us have had traumatic experiences, especially when it comes to relationships, and we we heal from the past. So then we look at your patterns. Why are you the way that you are? What are you committed to doing to changing them? I help you rewire your brain through neurolinguistic programming techniques. We look at your standards and values and and personality types and attachment styles and love languages, all the things. Mm -hmm. And then you create your new vision, and I set you free. And about fifty percent of my clients have now found the love of their life after working on themselves and, and they didn't have that before Those but they some... became the, their own love of their life first ah see that's very important those are some good odds too what are some tips you can give singles to feel love on this valentine's so day important. yeah number one love reciprocity we give or we get what we give so if we're wanting more love guess what we get to do we get to go out on valentine's day on sad which they call single awareness day <laughs> not sad day it's single and awesome day okay single and awesome day i love it single in the fields. go out there give love to other people you know pay it forward leave a note on a stranger's car get the coffee for somebody else um number two have a romantic moment with life chris evans is captain america he talks about this as well going out and having a romantic moment with life so i know that there's whether it's the holidays or Valentine's Day or summer or whatever, there's certain things that we feel like we need a significant other to do. So my invitation is to literally create a romantic moment with life where you're going out with life. Like, all right, life, show me what you got. Go do something cozy, you know, in the holidays or even Valentine's Day, I'll snuggle up with like my favorite fuzzy blanket. I'll put on a feel good movie. I'll make my favorite warm cup of something, cuddle up with my dog, you know, my twinkle lights. And I just look around. I'm like, That's an amazing romantic moment with life right now. And I don't know if we have time, but I have one more if people want time. <laughs> we, we don't, but we, we want to tell people where they can go so they can hear more. Where can yeah. we go for more information? Yeah, you can find me uh, on Instagram where I hang out the most. So Jackie underscore Pew on Instagram, or you can go to my website. And if you would like to work together and see if I can help you get to the next level, you're more than welcome to fill out an application there. Jackie, thank you. We'll be right back.